All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Picaphone. And with the 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 most recent update, Picaphone has added in two new missions, and they added them right in the middle of <laughs> of all the missions. So originally we only had twelve missions. They added two. They added a, a seven and a nine. I don't even know. Oh, eight's right there. So yeah, they added a seven and a nine, you know, before and after the pirates mission. So that just means I'm gonna have to change all of the video titles. That way it's not misleading to everybody. So we're gonna start off with another phone return. Uh, mission number seven. Your friend Anya found a phone outside her grandparents' house. She wants to return it, but it looks uh but but it looks it has no <laughs> information that can help to identify its owner use your detective skills to locate the address of the owner so she can return the phone sounds easy enough we've done this many a times is this anya no anya found the phone right oh we got pizza i love pizza delicious pizza let's check out the messages we got messages from tiffany and messages from jenny Oh my gosh, you will never believe who I saw today. Don't make me guess. You know how bad I am at that. Okay, do you remember that guy that sat next to you in choir back in sixth grade? No way. So you you like like? <laughs> so you like like him or something? Sort of. But I've never had a boyfriend before and he is so charming. What should I do? Well, first off, you don't want to just keep quiet about it. Why don't you just approach him and make some small talk? Solid advice. Solid advice. You just 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 approach the person you like. Just make some small talk. Start slow. And say what? My cat died yesterday. No, <laughs> that's not what you say. Oh, by the way, I like you. <laughs> My cat died yesterday. By the way, I like you. Not not the best pickup lines. Not I mean better than some of them I've heard. I I you know better than some I've heard, but not the best. Not the best. <laughs> That is the farthest thing from what you should do. Just flirt with him. Get to know his weaknesses and strengths. See what he's into. Start off shy and not too clingy or needy. Baby steps, you know? That, that's uh, that. such good advice. Whoever this is, it's just jam good advice. I'm freaking out, but I, 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 I think I'm going to go for it. What if he totally rejects me? You know, that's, that's life. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes... Sometimes you get the boy, you get the girl, sometimes you get rejected. That's just life. You just got to push on. You just got to push on and you go to the next one. <laughs> it's a numbers game. <laughs> Eventually, you will find the one. <laughs> then move on to the next. There you go. There. Perfect. Perfect. But since when is it hard to, to get an eye glance? Or since when is it hard for you to get an eye's glance from a guy anyway? <laughs> I have trouble reading these. Anyway, wish me luck. I can, I'll call you immediately after and tell you what happened. Yep, remember, small talk, then go from there. Don't stutter, twirl your hair, or say something embarrassing like how you had broccoli in your teeth and no one told you you went through the whole day at school wondering why everyone kept staring at you. You know what? I'll tell you what, when, when a girl's twirling her hair, that that is a sign that could also be a sign that she likes you if she's like twirling her hair, making eye contact. Now, if she's like twirling her hair and like trying to ignore you, like if she's twirling her hair to where she can't see you, like pulling her hair out and can't see you. Yeah, it, it, it's not working. But if she's twirling her hair, making eye contact with you, engaging in the conversation, maybe a playful little touch on the elbow or on the shoulder, or on the hand or something. Ah, oh, she's into it. <laughs> This is Jenny. Hi, girl. Hey, is everything okay? Not really. What happened? You know. Oh, it's because of the house. Yeah, I just posted an ad on Settler.com, and it brought everything back. Oh, so that looks like a link we can go to. So sorry for you. I know how attached you are to that place. Is there anything I can do to make you feel slightly better? I guess you can come over for a beer. Let's enjoy the house while we can. While we still can. Sure thing. Give me 15 minutes. The beer is on me. I'll order pizza from the new app I installed last time. I it got here in three minutes. You're the best friend ever. Heart emojis. I, I was expecting them to say come over and drink wine, but oh, I love a girl that can drink some beer. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go to settler.com. Let's see if we can access smart home. Oh, we can unlock the door. Turn the lights on and off. Cat feeder. Let's go ahead and feed. Oh, we can't feed the cat. We gotta. Need a device pin. 
I don't have the device pin yet. Home office camera? We can look in the home office camera, maybe? Got to pinch the zoom. Can't do anything there yet. Unlock and lock the door. We need the pin number. Got pizza. Fastest pizza on the planet. Our order predicting AI delivery fresh pizza. Delivers fresh pizza in less than three minutes. I need a gym pin number. Local news. Westport's orphan cats left $170,000 in inheritance. Orphaned cats. Early morning around 3.16 a.m. on February 28th, Mrs. Bell, marionette, was found to have passed away in her sleep at the age of 86. Oh, that's sad. Leaving not only her estate and inheritance, but her two Russian blue cats, Tiger and Lilith, behind, Miss Marionette was reported by her family to have loved and cared for her feline companions since their discovery inside the walls of Marionette Delrick Estate. It was no secret to anyone that from the very beginning, Belle had began creating what she often called a care plan, one of which to be impl implemented upon her uh, ultimately untimely <laughs> uh, implemented upon her ultimate death <laughs> her untimely death to ensure the safety and comfort of her furry friends however no one no, no one knew the lengths that she would take until they appointed <laughs> I, can't, I can't put these words together however no one knew the lengths that she would take until the appointed executor and attorney would read would read her Testament on March 15th. Too many jam big words. <laughs> Surprising to Miss Marionette's uh, three daughters, her firstborn son, and two grandchildren, the main beneficiary to both her estates and her inheritance was none other than her two cats. It's completely nonsense. How, how big? Oh my goodness. I did more. It's complete nonsense, stated Harold, the firstborn son and previous heir to Miss Bell's Bell Marionette's legacy. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Saying Marionette, this is just Mrs. Bell. She was very old and frail, but by the time she passed, there's absolutely no way she was in the right mind when she, or when when the will was written. Despite Harold Delrick's concerns, both the executor and attorney ensured that Mrs. Marionette was mentally competent and capable of making decisions at the time. In fact, both her children and grandchildren were labeled be beneficiaries as well, inheriting exactly. Two dollars and fifty cents, and causing outrage foregoing the reading of the will. While cats, dogs, and other animals are considered property and cannot legally be recipients of any legacy following their owner's death, Miss Marionette uh, appeared to have anticipated this pre predicament. In place, Bell left the remnants of her cash legacy after appointing payments towards her, both her executor and attorney and real estate to Miss Jessica Ulrich, Marionette's dear neighbor, who was reported by staff to have previously been her appointed cat sister. Cat sitter. <laughs> cat scissors. Her cat sitter. A caretaker for the two felines when Miss Marionette's uh, left her estate and could not take Tiger or Lilith with her. I honestly don't know her that all that well, admitted Jessica. I was just surprised by being invited to reading of Miss of, of Bell Marionette's will. And even now, I still don't know what to say. I can't believe she trusts me enough to care for her little fur babies. I bet they miss her mother dearly. Jessica Ulrich is a young single woman and veterinarian who actually helped nurse the twin kittens back to health during, uh, following their discovery inside the estate, Mrs., uh, which Mrs. Ulrich believes is the reason for her being bequeath the title of pet guardian a trust was established in the final will and testament to leave a cash legacy to the aforementioned pet guardian on the condition that she must care and provide for the russian twins a set of instructions for both the care of the fee, uh, of these felines as well as the ongoing use of funds that are placed within the trust were left alongside the will oh my goodness that was a jam reading and a half all right, let's see if we can go to this. Where is it? We need to go to the, the link. It was in Jenny's. Yeah, let's go to Jenny's link. At least try. Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. Enter a street name, city, or state. Uh, hmm. 
That might be hard to do. I don't know the street name, city, or state. Let's find out. So maybe, maybe this girl is part of the, this local news thing with the, the Westports. So maybe it's Westport. Yeah, let's, um, let's look up Westport and see if we can find anything in that. I think that'll be a good starting point. Here we go. Okay, okay. There's a couple houses for sale. 462, 301, 274, 283, 523. I don't know which one's which, though. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Wait, I thought we were looking up Westport. Oh, it's a bunch of different ports. Port Street, Port Street. We need to look we need to find Westport, right? Hmm. I don't see anything there. Hmm. Still having issues trying to figure out where this estate is. Or you know, I, I know we have to find it in settler.com. But I don't know the address to it. I don't know the state. I don't know anything. Is there anything in smart? I know this all had pin codes and stuff I needed. What do we, can I click on operating instructions? Ooh, I can. Oh, look at this. Let's read this. It's revision 1.8 English release. Important safety information. Don't turn on uh, hazardous consumers via the app when you are not nearby or have a reliable overview, yada, yada. Should never turn on power lock or power sockets from far away when you are not uh, absolutely sure that hazardous consumers are connected. Okay. Who should read this document? Safety and privacy. It is critical that you change the default pin during setup process four. So I wonder if she never changed the pin. Maybe the pin number is 1110. Let's try that. Let's try the pin number 1110. She may, maybe she never changed it. Uh, can I? No. Let's do, let's do cat feeder. 1110. Oh, it worked. Did we just turn on the cat feeder? Turn on the lights? Did unlocked the door? Oh, we can see into the room. Check this out. We can zoom in. What is this? Pizza. Oh, look at that. Pizza 3225. Oh, jam. We are, we are, we are genius hackers. We're literally hacking into stuff right now. <laughs> what was the number again? 3225. Oh, my goodness. We found 3225. Hooray, your pizza's on the way. Your hot pizza just got out of the oven. Yes, we're that fast. Little alien pizzas. And we're magic and, and our magical drones is on its way to our place. Track my pizza. Oh, look at that. Look at it coming. Look at it. It's gonna be there in, in 25 seconds. So we're in Denver, Lakewood, Edgewater. There's our place. Oh, something happened with the drone. We lost communication with the drone. Please wait. What's going on? What the hell just happened? Please wait while we figure out what happened. What just happened? So something something happened with the pizza. Oh, local news. Oh, look at that pizza carrying drone crashed in Lakewood. Now we know where the, uh, the, the the estate might be. Residents of Lakewood County are considering themselves lucky today after an autonomous drone fell from the sky, narrowly missing a senior equestrian center. 
the pilotless aircraft operated by local pizza entrepreneurs to pie in the sky was on approach for a piping hot delivery when when is to say it all went wrong i heard the sound uh, i heard what sounded like soft cheese caught in a propeller and i looked up what what is soft cheese caught in a propeller sound like how do you how do you know that how do you know what soft cheese caught in a propeller sounds like <laughs> when when do you ever have that opportunity to to hear what that sounds like <laughs> <laughs> I looked up, said shaken local mail carrier Richard Palmer, as it banked uh, one of the flaps on the pizza box opened and a hot stream of tomato sauce got stuck up in the blades. It didn't stand a chance. FAA officials were on site to assess the drone wreckage while FDA agents arrived and promptly classified the pizza debris as uneatable. <laughs> Representatives for Pine and Sky Pizza released a statement saying, We are profoundly sorry for the loss of one of our delivery drones and a large sausage and mushroom pizza with extra bell peppers and the inconvenience it has caused to our lo loyal customer of South Rob Street, Lakewood County. We're grateful that no one was harmed and will take the necessary steps to avoid such incidents in the near future. So it's South Rob Street, Lakewood County. Okay. So it's the Lakewood County. What what do we need to know? Uh, street name and number. The phone owner's address. Okay. So we need to find the phone owner's address, which is not the house that she's trying to sell, I don't think. Uh, so Lake, what was it? Lakewood. Lakewood County of South Rob Street. Okay. South Rob, was it 1B or 2B? Let's try 2B, see what happens. Okay, here's a uh, house for 186 at uh, South Rob Street, Denver, Colorado. Mary Street. I think that's it. I think it's that first house right there. It's the only one in South Rob Street. Can we click on it? can't do anything with it but it's a 3620 South Rob Street maybe that's the answer I wonder if that's the answer I'm gonna try that 3620 South Rob Street let's see if that's the answer Geniuses! Oh, we're so oh, we're so jam smart, and oh, this is so fun. We are we were actually hacking computers that time. We were looking through the cameras trying to find codes. We were hacking in somebody. We fed the cat. We <laughs> had to make sure the cat was fed. Oh, that was so good. I hope you guys are enjoying Picophone. And if you are, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. The next mission is not going to be pirates. The next mission is actually going to be Mr. X. It's going to be mission number nine. It's going to be Mr. X. We actually just completed mission seven, another phone return. Next one's going to be mission X. Again, if you guys are enjoying Peak Phone, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and join the tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.